decent future ahead of it. So, Brian, to confirm, you're saying this is not really the end of crypto, but probably an amazing time to buy. <laughs> yeah, this is not. Listen, this is not the end of crypto whatsoever. Um, it's not even close to the end of crypto. We're in the first couple innings of crypto here. Uh, yes, th this is a time to buy. You know, will I get the exact price right? Probably not. Um, but you know what? This is a time to buy. You, you want to buy when there's blood in the streets, and I'm starting to sense that a bit. China. China, China, and China. That's all we hear in the crypto markets this week. So this week, all the way from China, are the guys that run what has been called the Ethereum of China, and that's called NEO. With me is their founder, Dai Hongfei. Dai, you guys are in China. How are the regulations affecting what you guys are doing? The, uh, the trading in the market is just, uh, the volume dropped uh, very dramatically, and the rumors, are that all the exchanges will be closed in China. So uh, everybody is waiting for the regulation. How does that stop what you guys are doing at NEO? Well, tell us a little bit about what you guys are actually doing at NEO. NEO actually is a, a blockchain or a open network for smart economy. So it is not built, uh, it is not built for ICOs. Uh, so uh, a few weeks ago, the Chinese regula regulators just said ICO is not allowed in China. And it, de it definitely affects us. So you say that your, your blockchain is not actually made for ICOs. It's made for smart economies. What's the difference? As of today, you can see a lot of ICOs, they are uh, very, uh, uh, they're not connected to the real economy. So there are many uh, decentralized applications on Ethereum, but uh, rarely I, I met someone who is actually using those decentralized applications. All the usage is uh, a trading, trading uh, different tokens. Uh, that is not what we want to do. We want to have real economy running on the new blockchain. So you want to create economic applications that run on smart contracts on the NEO blockchain, is that right? Yes, absolutely, yes. And not to be used as this token or this platform for issuing tokens for ICOs? Yeah, so not solely be used by issuing tokens, because there, are, there can be a lot of real economical activities. Uh, there are three fundamental pillars of NEO, the blockchain. So that is, uh, 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 these are uh, uh, digital assets, smart contracts, and digital identities. Only if you have digital identity, you can link the uh, real economy, the real world, the physical world with the blockchain world. And is your blockchain already working? Is your blockchain up and running already? Actually, we have been, the mainnet had been launched for about a year. And uh, uh, a month ago, we upgraded to 2.0. Uh, after the rebranding, after after we rebranded from NShares to NEO, we launched the 2.0 mainnet. And are there any applications actually working on your blockchain already? Yeah, there are some test applications, but not that uh, all uh, full blunted applications. Uh, we just launched the smart contract uh, a month ago, so there are many development uh, ongoing, but they have not been uh, officially launched yet. How many contributors in your blockchain? NEO is a very uh, community-driven uh, project. So we have, I would say, about uh, 100 to 300 developers over the world, but only a few of them are the core developers. And there's two tokens when you look at NEO. There's the NEO token, and then there's this gas token. What's the difference between the uh, two? Yeah. So it's a very innovative design. We have this so-called uh, dual token design. Uh, because in Ethereum and in other blockchains, you, the, the token serves as two functions. One is like the equity or the voting power or the ownership of the blockchain and also as the transaction fee. So, uh, so it's coupled. The two usages are coupled. It's very weird. Like when you want to uh, buy a cup of coffee in Starbucks, you need to spend the equity, the shares of Starbucks. So it's, uh, it's a little bit unnatural. So we decoupled uh, those two usages. Uh, NEO token is what we call governance token. You use NEO to vote to govern the blockchain. And the gas token is we, what we call the utility token. You use it to pay for transaction fees, to deploy smart contracts, to execute smart contracts.
So gas is the mineable token and NEO is in fixed supply then? Uh, it's a little bit like you are virtually mining gas with your NEO token. So every gas that, that is consumed on the blockchain will be redistributed uh, proportionally to all the NEO holders. Do you think this ban of ICOs in China is temporary or permanent? I won't say it's temporary because the, regulation, the regulators had said very clear that raising money to the general public is not allowed in China or otherwise you at least you need to get approved first. Uh, but uh, raising money to uh, accredited uh, private investors is still legal in China. So if you want to build a decentralized application, you want to get money from the Chinese investors, you can talk to them privately. And if there is less than 200 investors, that will be regarded as a private fundraising. So they've gone from public fundraising to attracting just a few high net worth individuals or institutions. Mm -hmm.